In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through the top 10 purchases that most improved my life as an engineering student. Each one of these items I personally spent my own money on and looking back, I couldn't imagine going through uni without them. Also, if you're new here, my name is Ben and I'm a graduate structural engineer living and working in Australia. And if you find value in this video, please do give it a like and consider subscribing. All right, so first up is an iPad or some sort of tablet that you can take notes on. Now, if you're a university student, it's probably pretty safe to assume that you're already gonna have some sort of laptop, but what you may not have done is buy a separate tablet for note taking. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you'd know that I'm a big advocate for taking digital notes and that I think that making the switch from physical notes to digital notes is one of the best decisions you can make as a student because of all the long lasting benefits. Now I'm not going to go into depth about all the different benefits you get from taking digital notes because I've already got a full video about that on my channel but just to name a few to get you thinking you've got convenience so that means less clutter and one single platform for all your notes. You've got greater accessibility, so that means all your notes are in the same place and are backed up online so you can access them anywhere, anytime from any device. You've got the ability to edit, so very easily you can do things like erase, add to, or completely restructure your notes. Or you can also do more advanced things like add photos and diagrams straight into your notes. Oh, and one more thing is that you've also got better access to organization. So each one of your classes can be neatly filed away and broken down into different sections. So that things are easy to find. And you can also take advantage of functions like search. So you can find whatever notes you're looking for really quickly. Now, while I was a student, I used a Microsoft Surface Pro as both my main laptop and my note taking device. And if you're looking for a budget option, I still think that this is a really good choice. Although if you can afford both a laptop and a note taking device, I would recommend going for an iPad as your note taking device and getting a separate more capable laptop because this way you get the best of both worlds. Noise cancelling headphones. As a student you often find yourself having to study in a range of different places and having a pair of headphones that are noise cancelling is so essential for being able to block out all the different distractions. Now obviously as a student you don't need to be going out and buying an expensive pair like the AirPod Pros unless you've got the cash to burn which in that case the AirPod Pros are an excellent choice but otherwise if you are working with a normal student budget you can go to places like Amazon and pick up a pair from there that will definitely do the job. An external monitor. I feel like an external monitor is one of those things that until you've tried it, you really don't know what you're missing out on. In the past, I used to be that person who would only ever work off their laptop screen and never would have thought that having a monitor would be something that I need, let alone wanted. But as soon as I'd experienced it, I realized how much more efficient I could be. One of the most common use cases for my monitor when I was a student was either having the live or recorded lecture up on the screen in front of me and then having my notes with the screen I could write on down in front of me. And by having things set up like this, this allowed me to have a full screen for both the lecture that I was watching and then the notes that I was taking instead of having to do the old side-by-side -side window setup. Also, because both of these screens were linked and coming from the same laptop, you can very easily do things like screenshots from the lecture and paste them straight into your notes instead of having to take photos or simply just copy it down. A wireless keyboard and mouse. Like an external monitor, I feel like this is one of those setup improvements that until you've tried it, you really don't know what you're missing out on. Working with a separate keyboard and mouse allows you to pop up your laptop and take full advantage of your second screen and is going to make your setup just so much more ergonomic. I remember times when I would spend almost full days working at my desk only using the trackpad and by the end of it my hand would be killing me. But when I finally made the switch to a mouse, I was really surprised by how much of a difference it made. Now the keyboard and mouse I went for isn't anything special and it's just a cheap set from Microsoft but honestly I think it's fine and I continue to use it to this day. Next is a gym membership. Now, I don't think anyone needs me to explain the benefits of doing regular exercise, but what I would like to say is that cutting time out of your day to hit the gym or play in a sports team is such a great way to spend a study break. While I was at uni, often I would use the gym as a way to completely refresh and take my mind off things, and by doing this, I found that I was able to study for longer and maintain higher energy levels throughout the day. Something else that I want to add here is that even if you've never been to the gym before, don't worry about finding the perfect workout routine or the best gym to go to. Simply just get on Google Maps find a gym that's nearby and easy for you to go to and then just consistently turn up. There's no need for a super detailed plan, it should be more about just turning up and getting it done and by doing this you'll learn heaps and get better as you go. A watch. As a student, I think that time management is one of the main skills that you need to master if you want to be getting higher grades. And I think that this is especially true for engineering students because often our timetables are very loaded and we have a lot of exams and assignments that we need to get through that are always bunched together. Now I realize that we all have a phone on us 24 seven these days that we can obviously read the time from, but often when you use your phone to check the time, it leads to more than just that because you get caught up on a notification or you just unlock it and end up back on a social media app. And by using a watch, 
watch, you can eliminate that risk and check the time without the distractions of a phone. Also, I think that by wearing a watch, you gain a better sense of time awareness, and if you are someone who struggles to be places on time, you should definitely get one. An insulated water bottle. Now, this is kind of a funny one because maybe this is more relevant if you live in a place that has really hot summers like I do, but having one of these around always made me feel more comfortable when studying. There's something about drinking cold water that's just super refreshing, and having a bottle that keeps things cold all day is essential for those long and hot study days. Next is study help, and what I mean by this is paying for things like online tutors, textbooks, courses, and websites like Chegg. I feel like as a student, a lot of my classmates were really against paying for any of these extra resources because they felt like the professor should provide everything they need to complete the course, but in my opinion, you can actually get a lot of value from these other resources, and it usually only costs a few dollars, which is only a fraction of what you're paying for that overall course. Although I will say that in 99% of cases, you can probably work out whatever problem you're having just by putting in a large amount of time and effort, but in some cases, if you could access a work solution or a well-crafted explanation just for a small fee, you'd probably pay it just to save yourself the trouble. Now, I know that some of these platforms, and from my experience, ones like Chegg, where you upload a question and someone with knowledge on that topic will upload a full solution to the question within a matter of hours, can be a bit of an ethical dilemma. Because obviously, if you're uploading questions that form part of your assessment, then that's just paying someone to do your work for you. But I think that if you can upload similar questions and then learn from the techniques that those tutors are using to solve those types of questions and then applying them to your own assignments, then I think that's totally fine and it should be a tool that you utilize. An office chair. Nowadays, studying from home is an unavoidable part of every student's routine, and if you spend enough hours in a crappy chair, you really start to notice the effects this is having on your neck and back, which is two parts of your body you really don't want to damage. In my first couple of years at uni, I spent a lot of time studying on campus, so most of the time I was sitting in a semi-decent chair. But when things went completely online, I wasn't set up very well to start working from home. At the beginning, I was just sitting at the dining table which had a very basic chair with very little support, but as expected after consistently spending around 8 hours in a chair like this, my neck and back were killing me. So I decided to buy a desk and chair and my god did this make a world of difference. Now I know that some office chairs can get super expensive, but I definitely don't think you need to spend more than a couple hundred dollars to get something that will last you years. Experiences If you're working a part time job or you get some sort of a allowance while you're at uni, after all your expenses, I would really recommend not trying to save every last dollar and instead spend that money trying to have a good time. The sums of money that you're earning now working as a tutor or in a restaurant or in a retail shop is nothing compared to the money you're going to be making when you're working as a full-time engineer, so I'd really recommend spending that little bit of leftover cash that you've got, doing fun things with your friends or going to events that are happening at uni. The time at university does go really fast and if you don't get involved in all the different activities that are going on because you're trying to save every last penny, you're going to end up living with a bunch of regrets. This is definitely something I wish I could have indulged in more during my time as a student because with everything that was going on in the world at the time, I kind of lost two good years of university, but either way, the world's back to normal now, so get involved in things. Alright, so there you have it. That was 10 super valuable things that I think all young engineers should be spending their money on as a student. And if you like this video, you might be interested in learning about what tech and gear I carry in my work bag as a structural engineer, so you should check out this video I made here. And if you want to find out in more detail why I think all engineering students should be taking digital notes, then you should check out this video here. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.